Here's a short explanation of abductory spasmodic dysphonia phenomenology. On the left, you see that during normal voicing, the vocal cords are positioned very closely together, vibrating and making a blur. On the right side of the picture, you see that there's an increased space between the vocal cords because they have been spasmed apart, they've been pulled apart involuntarily, and that has dropped the voice to a whisper. Now, spasmodic dysphonia is a neurological disorder in which the muscles, the tiny muscles of the larynx, spasm involuntarily in different ways and interfere with the smooth production of voice. Two main variants, adductor, that's about 9 out of 10, and abductor, that's about 1 out of 10. In adductor spasmodic dysphonia, the vocal cords spasm against each other, causing strain, a sound like that or strangling, or catches and stoppages like that. Abductor spasmodic dysphonia, the vocal cords spasm apart, dropping the voice to a whisper like that. So this video will focus on abductor, that's the intermittent whisper form of spasmodic dysphonia. Long ago, people found that it was easier to travel by water than on land. Long ago, long ago, people found it was easier to travel by water than on land. And now in a little mini mouse voice, way up high. Long ago, people found. Long ago, people found that it was easier to travel by water than on land. Can you make it a little more mini mouse and loud like that? Long ago, people found that it was easier to travel by water than on land.